Good afternoon all, and today I'm going to play with op amps, and in particular um, these, which are transconductance op amps, or to give them their full name, operational transconductance amplifiers, or OTAs. Now this is the CA3080E, this is an original Harris chip, or at least it appears to be. Now they're called transconductance op amps because the output current is proportional to the input voltage, or at least the difference between the two input voltages, because this is a differential op amp like most op amps are. And OTAs are generally used, or I should say were generally used, because this is quite old circuitry now, to implement um, voltage controlled amplifiers. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to be building this circuit here. That's the CA3080 chip there. And then this pin 5 is the gain control. So this transistor is a voltage to current converter because on these OTAs the gain control input is a current control input. So we need to do a conversion. And I'm going to feed an audio signal uh, into the input here, some music, and then uh, try varying the voltage at this point to try varying the output volume of that music uh, when fed into an audio amplifier. So let's start building this circuit. Now they've specified a couple of uh, 1K5s here on both the inputs to ground. I don't have any 1K5, so I'm using 1K, probably near enough. Now this circuitry comes from the ETI Vocoder article. The Vocoder is a big audio project which I'm in the process of building. So I thought I'd just borrow this section uh, to test this particular op amp. Now because the output of this op amp is a variable current, they're feeding that into this 220K resistor to ground to produce a variable voltage at the output. They've actually used a a potentiometer here, so I've done the same. I'm using a 200k trimmer there, and that gives the op amp a, a high impedance output. So they've then followed that with a unity gain buffer to remake the uh, low impedance uh, signal at the output of that buffer. So I'll do that as well. This is just a 741. So there's quite a bit of stuff not marked on this original diagram. The uh, minus input of a 741 is pin 2, so I'll mark that on. And the plus is pin 3, the output is pin 6. So uh, pin 2 goes to pin 6. Uh, the pins of the CA3080 are pretty much identical to the 741. 2 and 3 inputs, 7 and 4 are plus and minus 12 volts, and 6 is the output. Uh, I don't have a BC2 on 2, so I'm using a 2N3906 PNP. Transistor, so I've done a little sketch for the emitter base and collector connections. Right, now I've wired it up like this. Instead of being driven from another part of the circuitry, this original circuit uh, varied the level of one signal uh, by the level of another, but I've just put a pot on there. Um, I've made it all positive between 12 volts and ground, and I'm adjusting the voltage at this point here. Now there is a little trimmer in the original circuit. I've not bothered with that. There's another little trimmer to offset one of the inputs of the OTA, I've not bothered with that either. So it's just the simple OTA, the following buffer, and the transistor, and my potentiometer. And it's here, I'm powering it with positive and negative, about 10 volts either way from batteries. I'm getting all sorts of interference. I think that's from my mobile phone uh, putting signals into the audio. I'm using crop clips here, which isn't ideal because, of course, these, uh, these leads aren't shielded. So let's put some music through it. This is Beethoven's Ninth, uh, coming from YouTube's copyright free music library. Uh, let's see how that works out. Now if I, this, this is my output level, so I can increase that. Um, but this is my voltage controlled gain. So if I take that down to minimum, then I have no signal. If I take it right up, you can see that that's working as quite a nice linear control of gain. Now, of course, varying the level of an audio signal with a potentiometer isn't terribly impressive because potentiometers can do that pretty much on their own without all this uh, additional circuitry. So what we really want to do is feed a modulating signal into this gain input to modulate the level of the audio. Let's have a think about that. So what I've done now is I've put a 555 timer, it's actually a 7555 CMOS, and quite a large capacitor here, it's a tantalum, 
um, and you can hear it clicking and that's because I fed the output which is now a square wave directly into the control input of the OTA. Now I think I can probably get rid of that clicking but just for the moment let's put Beethoven through again. So what I'm now doing is modulating Beethoven on and off using the uh, square wave output from this 555. Let's just put a capacitor in there to try and take some of the clicking away. So I've put a CR network in here with this 100k resistor and a uh, 223 capacitor, whatever it is, that is, I can't quite remember, to just take the edges off the square wave. And I'm going to feed uh, Bark to Carter in D minor through this thing. So with the uh, pulse width very long, the music comes through. So that's some serious tremolo. So that was just a little quick play with an operational transconductance amplifier wired up as a voltage controlled amplifier. So let's play out with a little bit of uh, Mozart here and uh, Mozart with serious tremolo.